so today I will be explaining the steps required for creating dynamic measures on your y-axis using Power BI with um, DAX formulas. Um, so you can check my website as well, adebalaoudo.tech. And this is what we'll be doing today. So we'll create a table, we power query, a manual table, um, define all the measures we want to, to work with, literally just type them in. And um, that's the name of the measures, type the names of the measures in, place the created measures within a slicer, um, change the position of the slicer to horizontal. Um, that's just um, formatting. Um, create the respective measures within your DAX formula. Um, create the DAX measure to control the selected measure displayed on the visual. Um, also, some look and feel dynamic formatting of colors by category using DAX formula and more DAX formulas for dynamic title. Okay, let's get to it. So, I have my Power BI file here. And just a quick demo of what we will be achieving. Um, so this is the horizontal slicer. This is just your normal slicer and it's been aligned horizontally. And what we see here is actual cost is selected because that's why it has the dark color compared to the other blue ones. So that's selected and we can see what that is. So that's um, the visual it's controlling. And if you click on another metric, another measure, so that's completed, we see that that change as well. We click on total project, we see that change as well. So that's what we want to do today. So how do we achieve this? The first thing we want to do is go to query editor. Go to the query editor, um, create a new table by clicking enter data. So you go to the home tab, enter data, that gives you a new table. Um, this table has been created already, so I'll just walk you through how it works. So you click, this would give you the view to create a new table. Um, and you just type in the name of the metrics. In my own scenario, I have five different measures I want to work with, and I've just put some serial number across it. The reason for the serial number is to then set the ordering, because I don't want to set it by the alphabet. I want to set it this way that I've arranged it. So in the visualization area, I will be sorting metric column by the serial column. So that's why that's needed. Um, so that's there. You create your manual table and to the visualization area, you have your table there. That's it. And I've sorted it by SN. So that's that. It's sorted by that. And that's why when we put it into the slicer here, we see that total projects is the first to be displayed. So that's why that was useful. Um, so how did I achieve this horizontal look for your slicer? It's really in the formatting section. You go to general, the orientation, instead of selecting vertical, so that's what it looks like when it's vertical, um, you select horizontal and you could then reduce the width, reduce the height and increase the width. So you get more stretch across um, the width. Yeah, these are the few things you just need to do to get that feel of a horizontal slicer. Okay, so how do we let this control this? The first thing you want to do is create all these respective measures separately, which I have done. So you probably will need to create your measures. In my own scenario, I've created total projects, just really whatever that is for you that's been created, um, actual cost, plan cost, um, 
and the others. So that's all been created. So you then need a measure to control the selection. And that's how this is created. So you have a measure called selected metric. And selected metric really is a switch statement where you say, if total project is selected, then display total project measure. And if that is selected, so what you need to be aware of is making sure you get the spelling right. Because if the spelling is not right, even if it was a space bar missing, um, it may not work. So making sure that whatever is displayed here in your metrics table that you've typed in is what you actually type in here. So that's just a manual bit to be aware of. Okay. Just said if nothing is selected, um, just by default, display total projects. And that's the formula, the DAX formula for that. So this selected metric is what I will be using in my visual here. I've used a chart. I have then slice that because when you then click on completed, you see that changes to the metric and click on actual cost and then that changes as well. Um, I think that that explains it all for the workings of how selecting this controls this. The other thing is how do we have dynamic colors by contractor? So a DAX formula is controlling this as well. And here we have contractor color code. Again, a switch statement, because this could be useful where you have several reports and you want to keep that, that same color for those specific contractors or for a specific category. Um, all you need here is, again, a switch statement. The name of whatever that category split is, in this case, contractors. And you need to get the hexa color code of what you want um, displayed. So I've just got this really from um, any website with color wheels and hexa color codes. So that's that you have to put the hash and then the um, six character hexa code. And then how to apply this to the visual. You click on the visual, you go to the formatting pane, you go to the data colors. Instead of happy, having to um, apply this manually, I will clear this now. You would see it gives you that by default, but I want each of the category of the contractors um, to have a different color. To, achieve that you would need to click the function and then apply the contractor color code measure so you format by field value and then we search for contractor so contractor color code and then that will automatically apply that and Another thing we do dynamically here is the title. You see, when I click on this, that changes from actual to on hold, and that changes as well to our projects. Okay, so same process as well for that. Um, click on the visual, go to the title, and that has been dynamically created. So just by linking the formula, a measure has been created. Um, the name of the measure I created is um, so that's the dynamic chat title. And that's that total project by, so it's just a selected value. Okay, so I'll go in there now. Oh, yeah, dynamic chat title contractor. That's the measure. Great. So let's go in there. Dynamic chat title contractor. So, yeah, just selected value of whatever measure you have clicked on here and just that with whatever on this here. Uh, so just selected value using that function to grab whatever has been selected. 
and then applying it to the title as a function. Okay, so that's it. Same as the data colors we've just done. So format by field value, and yeah, that's. Um, I mean, if this has been helpful, feel free to like, subscribe, share. Um, for anyone, it's you know that will need this. Um, for my next session, I will be explaining how to also dynamically change your x axis. So you see this that gets changed to the different priority. You click on region that gets changed. So this really is useful in helping you conserve space um, when you're building your report. So that'll be um, the next video. Thank you for stopping by. Cheers. Bye.